Hi, TT. How's it going? It's time for G. G is for our favorite Garfield. Um, it's almost Valentine's Day, so I found this letter that Garfield left for Arlene. It's really, really sweet. I wanted to read it to you. It says, Dear Arlene, my love for you is undying like the love I have for Tony's Ristorante. Your, uh, your eyes are like juicy olives from the antipasto bar. Your lips are as sweet as the maraschino cherries on my ice cream sundae. Your toes make me swoon as they remind me of cheesy stuffed shells. Be my valentine, sweet Arlene. And tonight, I might even share my dozen cannolis. Love always, Garfield. Isn't that so sweet? Garfield's so nice. Um, so a little bit about Garfield. He um, was born in an Italian restaurant in 1978. He weighed 5 pounds and 6 ounces. And that is huge for a kitten. I'm reading this off the internet, of course. Nate you probably could have told me about it. but um, The owner of the restaurant was not willing to keep Garfield. Apparently Garfield kept keep eating all the lasagna. Garfield was also was then sold to a pet store. The thing Garfield, the next thing Garfield knew, he was purchased by a skinny cartoonist named John Arbuckle. And two years later, that is when um, Arlene showed up. Garfield's love. And let's see if there's any other good facts about Garfield that you don't know. So he's 26 years old. He found Pookie in John's dresser. And Odie was left by John's former roommate, Lyman. Deep down, Garfield loves Odie. Of course. Duh. Nate knew this one, but I didn't. Um, Garfield hates raisins. Do not put raisins in his uh, bread pudding or his, uh, any other pudding. Alright, uh, so I didn't know about this one. Did you know that Garfield has an imaginary friend named Clive? Nate knew. I guess we need to read the books. They didn't tell us about that in Garfield and Friends. Well, um... Uh, don't you have a ukulele or something? Um, maybe you should put that in your H video. Go! Love you, Titi. Mwah!